comets are usually seen with the wings or tail of sway debris only after they enter the region inside the orbit of Jupiter. And worryingly, recent pictures of Nibiru show that it has wings. What's up guys? This is JT here at X Science, and like I said, the system of Planet X is really, really close to us now. For those who don't know, this is a system of seven planets orbiting a comet planet, so called by the renowned astrophysicist Carlo Muno Ferrada, because it is as massive as a planet but orbits like a comet. The consensus by many is that the system periodically passes closely by the Earth and break havoc upon light because of the gravitational and magnetic anomalies that comes along with it. Now, as I said before, Planet X are now captured with wings. Take a look at this photo yourself. I'll repeat something very important. Comets and similar objects are only seen with their tails or wings after they are inside the orbit of Jupiter. In other words, Nibiru's and this system are already on the edge of the inner solar system. Why is that worrying? Well, on the edge of the inner solar system is an asteroid belt and Nibiru passes through Planck's huge asteroid towards the Earth at an incredible speed. For your information, this is exactly how the known Avian dinosaur gone extinct. An asteroid the size of Mount Everest is flung from the asteroid belt into the Earth, causing the KPZ's mass extinction event. Now it may take some time for the asteroids to get here, but what we can already feel on Earth is a dramatic change in seismic and climate activities caused by the increasing Earth wobble. Earth wobble refers to the tilt of the Earth's rotating axis and it increases because of planet X gravities. If you are not convinced by this, let me remind you of the fact that virtually every volcano on the rings of high is falling into life, including the famous Kilauea eruption, which has just entered its fourth month of eruption with no signs of coming down. Scientists also warm up a potential mega earthquake greater than magnitude 9, caused by the collisions of North Americans and the oceanic tectonic plates. These earthquakes can very well create 100 feet tall mega tsunamis that can hit the west coast of the US within only 15 minutes. Here's for your comparisons. The tsunamis in Japan in 2011 that killed 16,000 people was only 20 feet tall, and therefore when this mega disaster happens, millions of casualties are anticipated. Not to mention the star falling down from the heaven afterwards, and by that I mean the asteroids. Climate change is also a fact acknowledged worldwide. Recent disaster includes a heat wave hitting Europe two weeks ago bringing Belgium up to 40 degrees and Spain almost to 50 degrees Celsius. Meanwhile, setting eight hands on a Wi-Fi, that killed almost 200 people. At the same time, Japan was hit with a historic flood, which also killed more than 200 people. You see, weather anomalies simply cannot be denied, and they should be taken as a sign that something catastrophic is coming, and we should all be prepared one way or another. Speaking of being prepared, many people believe that the elites around the world know of the inbound planets and have been preparing with secret facilities. According to many leaks, so the United States have at least 150 underground facilities, including a whole city under Denver Airport. The thing about these circles is that they are unnecessarily deep if they were to be protection for a nuclear war. Therefore, they must have been built in anticipation of something really, really big. Russia has been a little bit open, as we know, that they have built 5,000 shelters around the countries, and recently, they carry out a drill run that involved 40 million people. That is a huge drill run, and only a global capitalism can call for such an intense preparation. China is also rumored to have prepared ghost city dips inside the interior away from the ocean. Another preparation that elites have made for themselves is the seed valves. These valves have the seed of every crop plants and are placed to store and protect them and make sure these species survive whatever is coming so that those humans who survive have a source of food at the judgment day. 
The sun is also acting weird. It is reported that sunspots are at their most active in the past 8,000 years. Scientists have also recorded huge increase in solar radiations. Other than that, strange atmospheric phenomena such as sun dogs, red aurora borealis, red sky, X, has been appearing more and more frequently. These happenings are either supposed to be weird or have never happened before. This is clear evidence of a change caused by an inbound celestial body large enough to distort not only the Earth but also the rest of the solar system activities. Now I would like to show you the following footage from our fellow at Skywatch Media's news. This footage was captured by their audience worldwide and submitted to them. Just to make it clear, we also really appreciate submissions because it means a lot to us to know that you are supporting us and we on both sides are watching each other back. Therefore, whenever you capture something in the sky, especially two suns phenomena, which is the clearest and most concrete evidence of new world coming, please send it to us and we'll check the most information we can and give you the newest update. Now I'm gonna stop talking for a while so you can watch the footage. Just to sum everything up, Planet X is really really close and we are already suffering from its magnetic and gravitational fields. The devastating and bizarre phenomena are taking place worldwide, putting thousands of people at risk and this number will definitely rocket at mirrors and the asteroids it brings get closer to us. The elites do not have plans for you and me. They need to control the crowds as well as their group interests. So guys, stay stay out there. Keep yourself updated with not only knowledge on the issues, but also survival skills, because we are going to need the best of us to survive. Stay tuned to us and subscribe, because we will try our best to keep you posted. Keep looking to the sky, folks.
This is JT at Xtime signing out. Twelve hundred planets were verified in 2016 alone, and the suns appear to be dancing and blinking in the sky. New discoveries and rare phenomena are taking place all over the world, from the sky to the earth. What's up, YouTubers? This is JT at X Science, and today we are bringing you some very captivating discoveries. In case you didn't know, in 2016 alone, the number of planets beyond solar system being verified reached a staggering 1,200, and the number is still increasing. In other words, we are living in a golden age of astronomical discoveries, and I'm really glad about that. Among these verifications, there is one that does not make sense physically. So basically, what they found was a gas science orbiting a dwarf star. Theoretically speaking, dwarf stars such as this one, which is only half as big as our sun, do not have a system with enough matter to create gas giants. Yet this one does have one. And what is even more interesting about the system is that the gas giants is 25 percent the radius of the sun. Now let's put that in a more familiar perspective. Our biggest gas giant, Jupiter, is only 10 percent the radius of the sun. So the gas giant of the dwarf star we are speaking about is in fact 12.5% the radius of our sun, making it even bigger than Jupiter. This came to the scientific community as a complete surprise because as I have mentioned before, it is not theoretically feasible for such a system to form in the first place. Also, this gas giant orbits its sun at a distance so close that it makes a full orbit in only 3 Earth days. So yes, it is incredible. Among other discoveries, it is also worth mentioning Travis, another dwarf sun with seven Earth-sized planets. Why is it worth mentioning? Well, because many people believe that this system is Nemesis, or as we know it, the system of Nero. Why do we say so? Because we have a Hubble insider telling us so. You can actually find the extract of his interview in one of our past videos. And so I'm not going to talk too much about it because we have other topics to cover today. So we all know that the whole solar system is acting in a very weird manner. One of the anomalies that have been mentioned by a lot of families as well as people living near the pole is the increase in the Earth's wobble, which is believed by many to be the cause of the sudden dramatic increase in the volcanic and seismic activities around the world. Again, we have our videos on these people stating how the sun's angle has been changing throughout the years. So I'll move on and I'll come back to the volcanoes and earthquakes later in this video. The strange phenomenon that I would like to put a great emphasis on today is called the miracle of the sun. Some of you in the audience might have also heard of it as the miracle of Patina. So the story goes like this. On October 13, 1970, this extraordinary event took place in the Portuguese city of Padina, hence the name. It was proclaimed that Virgin Mary performed miracles on the world to remind humans of how they have not been good inhabitants of planet Earth. Of course, there is no visual proof because I mean this is 1917 we are talking about and in every unlikely case that you don't know. Cameras were not very common then. Anyway, we have testimonials from many sources, including that of Pope Pius XII. Hence, this happening is quite credible. What happens then was that there was a torrential downfall, after which the sun appears as a swirling disk heading towards the earth. The grouse and the attendees who were soaked by the downpour become dry almost instantly as the sun radiates crimson red lights that seem to penetrate the clouds. The sun then seems to jump out of its fixed positions and dance around in a trajectory toward the earth, at the same time radiating multicolor light rays. Of course, there are denials of the event, 
who believe that they have sunlight on that day cause mental and visual illusions to the people on site. However, I assure you that this happening is real because again, the Pope saw it and he was not there. He saw it from the Garden of Vatican. The phenomenon also affects many practices of churches around the world. Also, from the documents that we have left, the number of witnesses could have reached a million, and it is not possible for a million people to have at the same time the same mental and visual illusion for the same 10 minutes. And if this is not convincing enough, we seem to have had another miracle of the sun in Missouri. A gathering on October 13th in 2017 of 50,000 spectators experienced the same thing that hit Fatima a hundred years ago. A sudden downpour followed by the sun blinking and changing its color. What is interesting is, again, this seems to be a reminder from above because it manifests itself in times of trouble. In this particular case, Missouri was in the middle of political tensions and unrest, and the miracles are very likely to be a reminder of some sort of enlightenment. Another weird phenomenon took place in November. Uh, no, I'm not talking about the wind globe or second sun because that's far too normal nowadays. What I'm talking about is a triple sun in Panama City Beach on the 2nd of November 2017. If you think it's another fake photos or I am exaggerating, watch this video yourself. As you can see, there were clearly three distinct objects, not illusions, because you can see three distinct light rays shining onto the world. Additionally, they gradually set below the clouds, one by one. Also, watch this part again closely. You see, they were all so close that they seemed to be one object before they split and became evidently three different objects.
If all these evidence are still not enough to convince you that solar system is acting strangely, then think about these questions. Why is the United States conducting a series of national drills in preparation for a solar storm? Just for your information, solar storms are of magnetic nature, and when one powers up enough to hit the Earth, it can completely alter the terrestrial magnetic field as we know it and break down the entire planet power and radio grid. In this day and age, a life without communication technologies or electricity would mean economic collapse, political unrest, and social chaos. As in 2016, President Obama signed an executive order that would coordinate effort to prepare the United States for such an event. And the Ministry of Defense as well as the Navy has been building nationally ever since. Of course, they are not too open with the publics about it, because a lot of people know solar abnormally is a sign that Planet X system is approaching closer, and it is only a matter of time before meteors shower and the gravitational destruction that would wipe out most of human civilizations as well as life on Earth. Another sign clearly indicating these changes is one I mentioned at the beginning of the video, the staggering rise in seismic and volcanic activities all over the globe. In case you don't know, you can watch our thread on Kilauea and Yellowstone. But to sum it up for you, virtually every volcano around the world is roaring into life, with almost 40 of them being aggressively active. Kilauea has only stopped about after 3 months of eruptions. And this is only a virtual start, and we don't know when another flow of lava will spill out again. Yellowstone are also having cracks open up, clear sight of the super eruption. You see, if Yellowstone reawaken, 87,000 Americans will die immediately, and two-thirds of the country's equivalent to almost 7 million square miles will instantly be hostile to life. Yellowstone is very well capable of portioning the current mass extinction and kill off most humans before Planet X really arrives. So the future is not so bright, or actually, it's too bright, too hot and bright to survive, in fact. So you see, things really are changing, and it's not only physically present, but also religiously. These chilling signs are really telling us that something big is coming, and it is changing everything that we know. As the elites are preparing for it, we are kept in the dark. What the elites are doing, you ask? Well, US, Russia, and China are building underground bunkers and ghost cities all over their countries in preparation for capitalism. And please, if you have time, find the videos on our channels and keep yourself updated because the smaller bits of information may very well be your key to survival when Judgment Day is here. That's basically all that I want to talk about today, you guys. Keep looking to the sky, because signs are showing up all over the world and you guys will be very important in informing us and informing each other of anything coming from above. Also, we would really like a like a surprise, because not only that is very encouraging to us, it keeps you notified of the latest news, so you can be best prepared for what is to come. New videos will be coming out very soon guys, so keep looking to the skies and more importantly, Stay safe. You're watching X Science, and I am JT signing out. The sun has been dormant for more than four months. As a result, the Earth's magnetosphere loses its boost and thus its ability to counter cosmic radiations. Could this be the reason for the historical heat wave that is currently engulfing the planet? Hello guys, this is JT at X Science. Today let's talk about sunspot. So for those who do not know, sunspots are regions on the surface of the sun where the light is dim because of the concentrations of magnetic flux. In other words, these are spots where solar magnetic flux is not the same as the rest of the sun's surface and these places look darker than the area surrounding them. The presence of sunspot follows a supposedly 11-year solar cycle, and them being normal means the sun is healthy. But what is worrying today is the lack of sunspot for 4 months already, only in this year. 
that is 10% more than half of the time we have been through in the years. This is not supposed to happen, not until 2020, because the last time sunspot disappeared for so long was in 2009, when more than 70% of the days in the year did not have sunspot. So according to the 11-year solar cycle, such a dim in sunspot should only occur again in 2020. So what is the indication of this? Well, some of you might think that all these sun activities will not affect the Earth that much. Well, guess what? You are wrong to think so, because the sun's magnetic field is like a boost for the Earth's magnetosphere itself. Therefore, the fading of solar magnetic activities bring with it a decrease in the Earth's magnetic energies, and hence intense more magnet of cosmic activity. That's right, folks. Cosmic radiation is infiltrating the Earth in a not very natural manner. Scientists use a balloon in their stratospheres to measure the radiation and the result show that radiation level has been increasing steadily by 18% every month since March of 2015. Meanwhile, cosmic rays are approaching the Earth from every direction across the galaxy. You might be asking yourself, even if the sun were not so dormant this year, it would be so two years from now, and what is the difference that that makes? Well, folks, the answer is simple. Cosmic activities have cycles of their own as well as long as everything follows a natural course, we are fine. Yet, the sun is a bit ahead of its course, and so we are not fine. Like I have said before, the level of radiation in the stratosphere is increasing, and sooner or later, unless the sun reawaken, the radiation will penetrate the upper level and eventually will directly affect light on the surface of the Earth. Currently, it can only affect us indirectly by stirring up the activities up there, and what we can see down here is an increase in adverse weather anomalies taking place across the globe worsening the already bad man-made climate change. Or well, actually, flight crews and passengers might have already been affected directly by these radiations when they are on board. Of the sources of space radiations, a major one, acknowledged by NASA, is a binary star system that they say is worth 10,000 light years away from the Earth. You see, 10,000 light years away is pretty short a distance in terms of astronomy. To put it in another way, there is no doubt that the system's effect on Earth would be tremendous if it hadn't been for the Sun and the Earth's magnetic field. But for now, with the Sun being dormant ahead of the schedule, the Earth is already losing one line of defense. Additionally, Earth's own magnetic defense would lose its solar boost, making the situation even worse. In short, the sun is not as active as it should be, weakening the whole solar system magnetic defense and exposing the Earth to harmful cosmic rays. The most evident consequence we have seen in the past few months is the unprecedented surge in temperatures on every continent. In the unlikely event that you don't know, July has seen heat records on every continent on planet Earth. Sweden is experiencing its hottest summer in 260 years, while the record in Finland and Norway were the highest in 100 years. Belgium reached over 100 degrees Fahrenheit or more than 40 degrees Celsius, while places in the south of Europe, like Spain and Greece, reached over 120 degrees Fahrenheit or almost 50 degrees Celsius. In the meantime, North America is also setting records with over 100 degrees F or 40 degrees C in many places, from Ontario and Quebec to Denver. Los Angeles and California are going through a 120 degrees Fahrenheit summer, while the Death Valley has reached 127 degrees Fahrenheit or 53 degrees Celsius, the highest summer temperature ever recorded on the planet. The cataclysmic heat waves is not confined to the Western world. Across the globe, Japan is going through one of the worst summer in history, with temperatures surging over 40 degrees. The heat wave has been just a natural disaster because more than 22,000 people have been sent to hospital because of heat stroke and fate. Korea is in a no better place, and 
the process is not much brighter in the month of August, but there is no sign that the temperature will be South Vietnam has also reached more than 50 degrees and places near Confisco reached over 60 degrees in the middle of the day. Now for the information, what smell completely at 62 degrees, meaning that this temperature is devastating to life on Earth. What is worse about these record shattering temperatures in every place on Earth is that they set Wi-Fi raging across the world. California's Wi-Fi is pretty much out of control been tied in the Yellowstone National Park. At the same time, in Europe, Sweden has had hundreds of fires burning throughout the whole country. Even areas inside Arctic Circle is on fire. The most destructive so far this year is probably this one in Greece, in Lithuania, which killed almost a hundred people. And the situation is not getting better because another huge lockdown is in place three days ago. Now I'm going to show you this area drawn to face so you can and how horrible the situation has been after the previous burning. And that is not the worst, because the planet seems to be heating up from the inside too. These magnetic activities are increasing the Earth's wobble and stirring up its core, waking up virtually every volcano on the planet. If you have been following our threats on Tiawias and Yellowstone, you would know that the situation is pretty bad. Because currently, 40 volcanoes across the world are aggressively active and a large number are sowing activities in one way or another. Almost every volcano in the rings of fire is roaring by twenty lights. Now in case you don't know, the rings of fire is located in the coastline of the Pacific Ocean, where the majority of ashes and volcanoes on the Earth is located. Now if you look at this map, you see a lot of volcanoes are red, meaning they are active, and the majority of the rest are orange indicating that they are sowing activities in some form. This is images were taken from volcanodiscovery.com slash eruption underscore volcanoes.html where you'll find their names, location, as well as data. Oh, and here's something scary. The Yellowstone Super Volcano has some fishes as well. And if it erupts, 87,000 people will die and then areas of 7 million square miles will be inhabitable. So to recapitulate, guys, the Earth is being brought both from the outside and from the inside because of cosmic radiation. And if the sun doesn't wake up soon, the effect will be devastating. So stay safe, guys, and subscribe to the channel because we will keep you posted with the latest updates on the issue. So stay tuned, guys, and until we meet again, Keep your eye on the sky. This is JT at X-Science, signing out.